Pens. Many years ago, over on the blog, I reviewed Neo Pico markers. They have since released a new body type. It is the Neo Pico color. And my good friend Kabocha has actually sent me some of her secondhand original Neo Pico, so we do have something to compare it to. So these are alcohol markers, and I hope you guys are as hype as I am. These were ordered directly off of the Deleter manga shop, and you guys can find a link in the description below. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight markers in some really pretty colors. I ordered these open stock, so I actually pick colors that I find appealing. There are 144 available colors. They are typically sold in multi-piece sets, starting at a six-piece set like skin tones, gray or basic, 12-piece sets, gray, basic, pastel, and smoky. Uh, also, it just says skin 12 color set. And then 24, um, which is the basic color set. Then 36, which is like, um, wow. application 36 colors and basic 36 colors and then 72 and there are four different no gosh i'm sorry i'm having a hard time parsing the site so there's actually four different 36 color sets there's the application there's basic there's set c and set d and then there's the 72 color set set a and set b so these sets range from 1859 for the six color set so it's like three something a marker to 202.89 for the 72 color set. Individually, these markers go for $3.13 on the Neo Pico site. And these really remind me of Kuratake's new version of their Kura Color markers. And you can find a review for those by clicking this card here. These are not refillable. Refills are not available. So they kind of are what they are and they are double-sided. We have a brush tip and we have a fine tip with the brush tip being kind of a blunted brush. Oof. And the fine tip actually being a nice little bullet tip rather than those fine liner tips that tend to die. You don't see too, too many of the fine bullet tips for alcohol markers. Whereas the Neo Pico 2s have a slightly larger brush tip and a small chisel tip. On the Neo Pico colors, they have the family name on one cap and just the color representation as the other cap. Whereas with the Neo Pico 2s, you get the family name and color on both caps. And the caps are different sizes. So, oh, okay. All right. The larger cap, wait, okay. Having a night, y'all. Larger cap goes on the brush end. Smaller cap goes on the fine tip. That makes sense. And the brush tip has the collar. Nope, the brush tip has the collar on the Neo Pico 2. Does not have the collar on the Neo Pico color. It does have the larger cap and the color name. So that might make it a little bit easier. For this review, we picked up, we ordered, oh my gosh. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, where's the color name? Cause there's the color family, it's just a color number. Um, Gothic purple and it's on the SKU tag, the barcode tag, walnut, light orange, lapis lazuli, except it's lazuli here, amber, Strawberry, Maron, which is like a chestnut and it's a brown color. And Cardinal. And these were selected from the digitized swatches on the Neo Pico site. And I have been told that you use Neo Picos a little bit differently than you use Copic markers. I don't really have a lot of experience with that. I find, actually the tip is nice. It's juicy, good ink flow. Um, it's foam rubber. There's some flexibility to it. If you find yourself having trouble controlling the Copic Super Tip for whatever reason, this might be a good brush tip to try instead. And then we have 
the fine point, which since it releases less ink is actually a little lighter. So that was walnut. Next up is amber and I'm gonna switch swatch, switch swatch dash both ends. Marron, cardinal, which is actually more brownish than it is red. It's an interesting color. I don't really have anything quite like it in my marker collection. Strawberry, lapis lazuli, and the caps do snap very firmly into place. Gothic purple, you'll sort of feel it click when it's right. And they're a little bit hard to remove. So if you have arthritis, they may not be, and they're no harder than other brands, I'll say that. So if you can get others uncapped, these might not be too bad. Light orange, and it seems like, oh, oh man, okay, all right. I'm gonna have to approach these the way I approach dye base watercolors because it seems like you get very intense synthetic colors from what I picked. Um, I am certainly not the only person with experience with this. My friend Kabocha is actually the one who turned me on to them, so I may have to turn to her for help. Next, Illy, we're gonna do a little bit of blend compatibility. We'll pick a nice, strong color. We're gonna do three swatches. So we're gonna start with Copic. Then we're gonna do Prismacolor. And then finally, we'll get Shinhan, which are Korean. So we've got Japanese, American, and then Korean to go with our Japanese alcohol markers. They do all seem to have reactivity. So I think they will be fairly cross compatible with other popular alcohol marker brands. Let's do a little bit of blending. I did not realize that walnut and amber were gonna be so close in color. And walnut goes down almost like a mustard yellow and then kind of dries a little more mellow than that. More mellowy yellow. But their swatching system online and then their cap swatches are just not at all close to the reality, which probably makes it very difficult to purchase these if you're not in Japan. I also wonder if you purchase them in a Japanese store if they're less expensive than through the Deleter online shop. I've noticed that with Copics, you can get some really good deals on Copics if you go to Japan. Of course, you gotta, you gotta go to Japan. You gotta pay to go to Japan to get those good deals, but you know. So they don't seem to be, they, they kind of blend. Um, just not as blendy as I'm used to, which just a different type of marker. And the site says you can achieve different tones by layering. So we will, so this is light orange. The cap looks orange. To me, it's like a salmon pink kind of orange. On camera, it's a little more pumpkin-y. And then in reality, it's like a fluorescent peach, which my camera is like, no, I'm not capturing that. So they say we can develop color tones by layering, which is, I mean, common for alcohol markers. So that's two, that's three. I'm just giving it a second to kinda draw it. That's four, yeah. I would say you can get some pretty decent range. The other colors I purchased are not really good, in my opinion, for um, figuring that out because they're already kinda dark. And they, they, are, they there is good color saturation and they're already pretty streak free because there's lots of ink flow. And since the nib is kind of soft, but it's resilient because it's a foam rubber nib. So it's actually a nice sort of in between. Yeah, you can build up some pretty good, 
pretty good colors. I wish I had better luck when I was um, selecting my colors. Maybe I should have asked Kabocha, who's much more familiar with this brand than I am for advice. All right, I've got everything nice and labeled. I just wanna line the tops up with the colors so you guys can see how amber's correct and maroon is correct. Or pretty close at least. Strawberry is pretty similar. Cardinal, meh, mm -hmm. I think I just really had bad luck with walnut and light orange because I Got light orange to be a very light skin tone, probably. And I, I mean, this is light orange, right? And that's the light orange swatch. But everything other than walnut and light orange, everything is kind of close to what it actually is. All right, so I feel like this is a really inconclusive unboxing swatch. So hopefully when I'm ready to do the field test, I have more information and I have something better to show you guys. So hopefully I will see you guys then. If you're looking for more alcohol marker reviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can stick around on this channel for lots more. Just search alcohol markers in the search bar or head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. I have done dozens of alcohol marker reviews over the years. So even if you just like to gawk at car crashes, there's plenty to entertain you over there. I hope to see you guys again really soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.